All right, what is... Okay, can I please focus on my show? What the fuck is going on? I can't even concentrate because these idiots... There's like a million troll accounts right now all over in both chats, bouncing back and forth being assholes. So I have to sit here and fucking moderate instead of do my podcast, and it's frustrating me. Okay? Yeah, see, fact checker says fair comparison. It's like hardcore Fallout without VATS. Yeah, I would agree. See, this is what I mean. I'm trying... I'm fucking trying to do my, my podcast, and it's kind of hard. Really, it's kind of hard. <laughs> See? Tro yes, definitely because of what happened last night. Definitely people should stop contributing because I changed my schedule to spend more time with my wife and therefore people who are regular supporters didn't know and weren't here. So the streak was going to end. So I stayed 25 extra minutes and then we hit the streak because of that regular should stop supporting me. How about this? Fuck off you fucking life stalker losers. Stop with your fucking insane obsession with me. What you're saying didn't happen. You're nuts. Every fucking one of you, whether you're a little insignificant shit or you're Review Tech USA, you're all nuts. Every one of you. And I'm tired of it. Why do I have to sit here and see mentally ill fucking people come to my chat and spew this toxic shit? I'm not putting up with it ever again. I've had enough. Really, I, this is insane. Shut the fuck up. These fucking delusional fucking people. How did you take it involved? Because he was restreaming the whole thing. He was the one who was cheering on the end of the street, and he had people coming over and doing fucked up stuff because of it. That's why. <clears throat> Deep within a bleak and dismal swamp, hidden beneath its murky waters, lies the headquarters of the most sinister villains of all time. The Legion of Doom. I want to see if I can kill this bastard. Nope. Nope. Wow. He take dude, no health off on that. None at all. I can't parry him. But I usually don't have a problem with that. Oh my god. Wow, I could just, if I'm careful and just spam. Interesting. No, I'm not okay because I want to do my show, and I can't do my show with these idiots interrupting it. In both chats, we got idiots coming in, spewing this toxic shit. Like, I can't even focus. We, I'm trying to talk about Stalker. You got two people who want to talk about Stalker, and then here come 10 troll sock accounts. What the fuck? Get a fucking line. It, the funny part about all of this is, all right, this has happened seven zillion times, all right? It really has. Something happens that's literally not drama. It's just a normal, commonplace thing, all right? It happens. My trolls spin it as drama, and then a million people get fooled and listen. And then all of a sudden, they hate me, right? All of a sudden, Phil's a villain. Phil's a horrible person. Phil did this bad thing. Phil did that bad thing. I didn't do anything. I literally did, did nothing. Nothing bad happened last night. It was actually a good stream. Like I said, I had a great time on that fucking stream playing the ranked of Call of Duty. I wish there were more people there, 
because they didn't realize that the time change, but it was a good one, right? But according to the trolls, it was like, you know, D-Day for me. It's the end. It's everything's over. It's the apocalypse for Phil. No, that's not true. And if you don't believe it or if you believe them, you're gullible. No, can I say it again? If you believe these people who every single day say every single thing that I do is horrible, bad, and a cancelable action, you're gullible. You need to look in the mirror and say, why do I listen to this drama? And why do I believe it? And why am I even here? Because if you're that gullible, maybe you shouldn't watch a streamer. Right? Maybe you should go do something else. If you get so caught up in drama. I mean, we had this guy, Void, right? When I started streaming on Kick, he liked my content. He wants to be one of my biggest supporters. He gives a whole bunch of subs. Becomes one of my top three supporters. Within a few weeks, he's talking to fucking duty streams. He's in drama content. He's got them all on his streams. They're they're trying to, they're literally trying to take my supporters and convert them to be detractors. What the fuck is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? That's not normal human behavior. That's sick shit. That's stuff that people who are deranged do. You understand? Normal people don't fucking have these kind of actions. They just, you know, so what is, what is going on? And now I got to deal with the repercussions of this shit. Because I'm on stream, and I got to hear about all this drama behind the scenes, and then they're talking shit about me in my chat, they're talking shit about me in their chat, and then the detractors are making videos about it. It's like, I just want to stream content. I literally just want to be here right now talking about my schedule for the week. Why can't I do that? P P Humans are too susceptible and too much suckers for drama. Okay? They are. I don't want to make drama content. I don't. I, you know, I really don't. That was never my goal. That's why I'm, I never became someone like Keemstar or someone like that. You understand? Um, literally, that's why I stayed away from it. I could have done that. And then you could have said, well, Phil, guess what? It's your own fault. You made your bed. And I would have been like, you know what? Fair enough. That's the content I put out. That's the life I got to live with. I don't do that. I don't make that content. I don't make lol cow content. I don't make drama content, right? So why do I have to deal with all the bullshit as if I do? I don't understand. It makes me scratch my fucking head. You know, I don't understand it at all why I have to deal with this bullshit. So it, it's this simple. If you're susceptible to this shit, and you're going to sit here and you're going to associate with these people and you're going to talk with them, then go join them and leave me alone. And that goes for everyone. I, you know, it's sad because I have many people who I think are great positive parts of this community. Void was one of them. Void was here. He was chatting it up and we were all having a good time. He was making emotes and everything. And then all of a sudden he turns. What did I do? Did I change? No. Did I change my content, my attitude, anything about me? No. He just decides one night, I don't like Phil because I started talking to Phil's detractors. Right? Last night, was it annoying that the streak might have ended because I changed my schedule? Yes. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Right? That could have... Absolutely, that could have happened. It would have been very annoying if it ended. I stayed 25 extra minutes. The streak continued. I was still able to finish all my work early, go downstairs, and have time with my wife. That's what happened. So why is it that there's people in chat, oh, Phil did the wrong thing. Phil, did the Phil didn't do anything. You're the one who's creating drama here, not me. I made no zero drama. There was none. It actually went well last night. So why the fuck are we doing about that? I, just, I don't get it. I really want to know. Can I do my schedule now? Like, serious, did we get rid of them all now? So now I can do my schedule and talk about games and shit? Because I'm tired of this. I, already, I had the segment. It was done. And then another 20 fucking socks came into the chat and derailed it. And I couldn't talk about Stalker. All right? I'm going to reset. Really, I'm going to hit the reset button now. And I swear to fucking God, if these fucking people start, I've had enough. It's going to be perma ban left, right, up, and fucking down. Okay, are we ready? All right. Thank you.